Good evening, magical friends. Today we are going to make Toad in the Hole, a very British dinner. We did not see this in the Harry Potter movies, but you can be sure that the house elves did make it at some point. We just weren't lucky enough to see it. It is one of my favorite British dinners that I think I have ever had. And so we're gonna get to it and we're gonna make it tonight. For those of you that don't know what Toad in the Hole is made of, we are going to make it with Yorkshire pudding mix. First thing that you're gonna to need to do is take a small pot and put it on the stove and boil the water. Once that water boils, you're going to take six breakfast sausages and cook them in the water. You do not have to use breakfast sausages. I personally just like them better. I got these ones at Costco, but you can use any type of sausage that you'd like. So While those are cooking, we will start the Yorkshire mix. Here's a list of what you will need. First, you're going to take three quarters of a cup of water, three quarters of a cup of milk, and two eggs. Then you're going to whisk them together. Make sure that you have used a container that has something you can easily pour out of. Next, you're going to add a cup and a quarter of flour, slowly, and stir. Usually when we have this for dinner, we will have mashed potatoes, carrots, and corn, and you will need to make some gravy to put on top of it. It is not good without the gravy. Gravy makes it much better. You're going to keep mixing it until it gets a nice consistency and there's no more lumps in it. The consistency of your Yorkshire pudding should be quite runny. You shouldn't be thick and lumpy. So make sure it's nice and smooth. And if you need to add a little bit more milk, but as you can see, this has got a nice runny consistency. Once it's all mixed, you're gonna put your mix in the fridge. It works much better when it's chilled. It raises higher in the oven when it is cooking. So after you've had it in there for 15 minutes is good. When cooking the sausages, you'll know when they're done if they are starting to rise to the top while they're boiling. While the sausages are cooking, you're going to take three tablespoons of oil and you're going to place it in your pot that you're going to cook it in. I'm going to use a 12 inch cast iron skillet, but you can use anything that's about the same size. Make sure you spread the oil around nice and you're going to put it in the oven at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, I said 500 degrees because you want it to get it so it is smoking and hot. Once you go to put in the mixture, you will turn it down to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the sausages have cooked, I'm going to add them to the skillet that had the oil in it. I like to put the sausages in before I heat the skillet up in the oven. That way, when you put them in, you don't get spat on from the water and the oil. Spread them out evenly so that when you pour in the Yorkshire pudding mix, it is easier to distance. By this time, your oven should be hot enough to place it in, and you're gonna to wanna to leave it in there for about 15 minutes or until you can see it start smoking. Once it is hot enough, you're gonna pull out the pan, and you're gonna pour it in slowly over all of the whole pan. I'm going to try and cover the sausages. If you're missing some, spoon it all the way around the edge. And then pour the last little bit in. Like and there you go. You're going to turn the temperature down. It needs to be at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. And while it is cooking, you have time to make your gravy and any of the vegetables that you wish to have with it for dinner. 
Butterbeer said to remind you, don't open that door while it's cooking, just leave it. Once it is a nice brown color on top, you can take it out carefully. Don't jar it or it will fall because it has risen up. Here it sits for about 10 minutes. You can cut it up and eat it. Best to serve with some gravy. Enjoy. Don't forget, if you enjoyed what you saw here today, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, magical friends.